Hi everyone, it's Becca. I'm so excited to be filming with my new camera here. Um, so yeah, like I've been saying, just bear with me with all, you know, the lighting and um, kind of figuring out all the settings on this. I am very new. I'm like looking my, at myself in the viewfinder right now. I think it's in focus. Um, so as you can see, I'm just very, very casual here. Um, it's the day after I got back. I haven't even been back for a full 24 hours. And of course, the first thing I'm doing is filming for you guys. Um, so I just don't have any makeup because my makeup is still packed. I mean, the stuff I brought with me, which, you know, I'm sure I could do something here, but I'm just lazy. So, um, you know, excuse me about that. But I'm going to film a huge, huge, huge haul for you guys. Um, so hopefully I have enough memory on this memory card to do that. Um, so let me know if you like this setting, or this, excuse me, this setup. I'm sitting right in front of my windows right now, um, and I think it's really good lighting, but, you know, maybe it's not the prettiest background. Who knows? Anyway, can stop blabbing, because I have a huge, huge haul. They're all sitting in a little pile over here. Um, I have, like, all my Ipsies for the past five months, and my Splendies, so I'm going to do those in two separate videos, not, in like, not included here. But just know that I also have those coming and also my Sephora Play unboxing. I don't know which um, is going to go up first, but probably this. So I'm just going to grab them as they come. So it's really going to be no kind of order here. Um, so this is a Sephora order. There it is. Um, yeah, so there is a gift in here for my brother's girlfriend. Her birthday was a couple days ago, so I'm not going to show that because I know she watches my videos, and just in case I have this up before I see her, don't want to ruin the surprise. So, I know she's watching. Hi, Sam. Um, but I'm not going to show that. I'm super excited, though. I think she'll really, really like what I got her. Um, and I'm actually kind of jealous because I don't have it myself, so maybe I'll have to swatch it <laughs> if she lets me. Anyway, so um, the next thing in this order, I, I did get some things for me because I can't resist um, shopaholic here. So Urban Decay, um, you guys have probably heard, heard and seen, Urban Decay came out with I believe 120 lipsticks in total, or 140 maybe it is, um, of new lipsticks. So all their other lipsticks went on sale, which I've always wanted to get, and I only have mini ones, and then one that came in like a set or something. So I thought this was a perfect opportunity. So this right here is Rapture. Now let's see if that'll focus. Come on. Okay, I think it did it there. Love even this outer packaging. And then it has the color indicator right there. Um, I think it's really, really well done. And even the packaging inside is really nice. Hope you can see that. So the packaging is gorgeous. Their new ones look pretty good. Um, they, I think they have a little more like shape to them, they're more like kind of hourglass, but I just love the shape, it has Urban Decay right there, I think it's just really really nice, and this is Rapture, I do have kind of some random swatches um, there, so don't mind that, and these are just super like one swipe kind of colors that are, I can tell they're very moisturizing, um, so that one's Rapture. I think that's absolutely gorgeous. I just, Urban Decay, honestly, one of my favorite high-end brands. And then I got Rush. And these all, I believe, were $11 because they were, um, I think 50% off is what it ended up being. Okay, is it focusing now? Let's hope. Um, so, they're all kind of in the similar family. Rush is right there. I think it's really, really nice. I have to stop looking at the viewfinder. Oh, that's hard. I know everyone normally says that, but that's really, really hard. And then the last one I got was Fiend. And there's that one. Let me just swatch this. I'm really glad I picked these up. Um, they're just really, really nice. Again, in the same family color, and that one's right there. So, I really like them. I uh, haven't worn them yet, um, but they swatch beautifully, and I'm super excited. And then, as a 100-point perk, I got this for Super Regenerating Oil Serum. I don't know why I got this, but uh, I just wanted to, I guess. Who knows why I do anything I do. Um, and then, as kind of the code, I got this Dior Addict, um, what is it called? Ultra Gloss in 765. This packaging is super metallic. And duochrome, not metallic, but I guess duochrome, and it's amazing. Um, 
and let me swatch it for you guys and then I guess I didn't get any samples which isn't like a huge deal because I have so many samples um but I think it's funny that I completely forgot to do that I think it's because they don't have the page anymore you just like it's right there with everything else I love the packaging um so I think that's why I forgot and then it is a brush applicator which I do um like I, I like brush applicators I know a lot of other people don't it's right there um super sparkly which I'm not always a huge fan of but I'm really excited and I'm putting it back in the packaging because I'm crazy like that um wow this video is already super long so I don't know if I'm going to be swatching everything here <laughs> see what I can do okay this next place uh what is this oh it's Urban Decay this is just one lipstick they didn't have this on Sephora when I was um, going on, so this is the Urban Decay Revolution Matte Le Revolution lipstick. So the other ones were not the matte version, and I got Matte Bittersweet. I have this in the lip gloss, and I absolutely love it. I really want the blush too. Maybe then I can do a whole bittersweet look. So this one is black, which I like the silver one better. Um, this one's pretty nice, and this color is everything. If you know me, that's such a me color. Okay, that was an easy <laughs> box to go through. Next thing I have here is by Makeup Geek, and I this is the first thing I've gotten from Makeup Geek, I believe. And I love the little seal that they have here, the MG for Makeup Geek. It's just I like the black packaging, super sweet. And then I love how it came packaged. This is the Manny and A palette. I don't believe this is available any longer, um, but I'm a huge fan of Makeup Geek. I do want to get more of her stuff, and of, of Marlena and of Manny. And again, this is that has that holographic, and it's like feels like soft matte kind of packaging. Um, maybe I can quickly swatch this. Love that packaging, just absolutely gorgeous. And here are those shades. It's funny I can see myself in the mirror. So I believe three of these. Um, I'm gonna swatch this on my other hand. I believe three of these are permanent. And then the other ones he came up with. Oh, this rose gold color is just absolutely amazing. Um, they're actually not typically colors I would go for. The rest of these, they're very, very warm. I feel like I go for like cooler tones more often or just like neutral. Um, but I've been wanting, you know, I wanted to sport both of them. And I've been wanting to try her eyeshadows. The one thing is this red shade that I'll show you guys is the only one that doesn't, it feels kind of hard to the touch. It still swatches beautifully, but it's not as like creamy feeling as the other ones, which isn't a huge thing, but that's, I like when they're creamy feeling. So they're the shades and terrible swatches. Well, I just put them in a bad place, but they're the nine shades. So I am super excited to try that. Let me know if you want me to do a look or something with this, like get ready, get ready with me with this or something. Um, I definitely could do that, but I'm super impressed so far. This next place is House of Lashes. I don't really want to show my address on any of these, so I'm not really showing a lot of the boxes. But this is absolutely gorgeous presentation. I was really, really impressed. Never gotten anything from House of Lashes before, um, so I hope I like these shades but this was definitely I got this like around after Christmas time it has these kind of little what do you call those like crinkly little bits um so the first thing I got is the what is it called it is the um lash drawer oh that's pretty simple it's in this cute little packaging and I just wanted a better place to sort my lashes, and I don't even know if this is really going to be too much better. Um, it is super cute, but I was pulling out the drawers. Oh, I showed that to you guys up to side down, and they just don't um, pull out that nicely. I'm a little disappointed with that, but it is super cute. Um, so we'll see. And then I got the House of Lashes Boudoir lashes. Those look super pretty and big. The band looks pretty thick, but they are big. And then these were just, I couldn't pass these up. These are the limited edition Ice Queen ones. I um, don't know where I'd wear those to. Maybe a Halloween kind of thing or something. 
Um, then these are the Smoky Muse. This also looks super thick and gorgeous. Um, and then I got, I've heard mixed reviews about this, the mini adhesive set. Um, it just has their, you know, lash glue. I've heard mixed reviews um, on their lash glue. And then they, it came with like a lash ruler too. I don't. Um, this curvy transparent, transparent measuring tool specifically designed with three curves to fit a variety of eye shapes. It helps measure and trim your lash band to better fit your eyes. Oh, that's cool. And then it came with this cute little merci, which I love. And then thank you. Um, anything French, you know, I love. <laughs> Can't get enough. Um, so that's cool about the, this little lash ruler. Um, maybe, who knows, maybe it'll actually work. I do normally have to cut my lashes, so, yeah. Um, we'll see about that. Next thing, um, I do have a couple more packages coming, so maybe I'll throw those in when they do come. But I at least wanted to get this put away, but this was from Holt Look when they had it. I know Steel is coming up in a couple days, um, as I'm filming this. So maybe you guys could get them, but these are the smudge stick waterproof eyeliners, and I got mint julep and canary for these two colors. This is mint julep, and this is canary. Uh, um, one thing is I'm having trouble, like when I first did it at least, um, of twisting them up. But mint julep, they're both matte, I believe, um, and I just like playing around with liner. It's like really simple way to, you know, and it's fast to, to get a pop of color. Um, I wish the canary was a little lighter yellow. They're both right here. Hope you can see that. But um, I'm excited to play around with that and we'll see. I have two MAC orders. Um, MAC just, I, you guys probably seen, has now their own kind of reward system, which is amazing. Um, I actually really like purchasing from MAC because they always have free shipping, and sometimes I don't get taxed on it, I think, which is kind of weird, but I accept it. Um, so I really like that if they have a new system, or they, they got a, um, excuse me, a reward system, and you get like one good size sample with each purchase. Um, which is great. Now I don't know where to put all these packages, these boxes. So the sample I got was the MAC Strobe Cream and I have the full size liquid. Um, but yeah, with my dry skin I think the, that one might be better. I got the MAC Matte Teen Lipstick Semi Matte in Strutting Fabulous. Um, and because these, I think some of these were in their like goodbye section. So I guess they're getting rid of it, um, and it has this like soft matte packaging. It's really pretty. I actually really like this packaging. Um, gorgeous color there, and amazing color. I hope I hope it looks good on me. Um, I'm really excited about that. And as soon as you open just one of these products, the lip products, they smell like the classic Ma uh, Mac. So I love that. And then I got the Mac. Real Redhead um, Lipstick, just like a normal lipstick, and this is a luster finish, so it's definitely like a little sheer, but I um, saw Cassie from Thrift Thick reading about this, and a couple other people too, um, and I do have red in my hair right now, so we'll see, and then this, I'm a little disappointed, this is the MAC Fluid Line in Great Dame, it looked a lot pur more purpley on the website, and because I, I know MAC has one or had one, so I thought it was going to be more purpley, but it's honestly more like burgundy red. Um, or I guess today it looks purple. I don't even know. Maybe that was in that lighting? Who knows? Now I'm not sure. So, it, I mean, it definitely does have like a red undertone to it. Um, either way, it'll be fun to play around with. The next MAC package... Um, I'm going to pull this out. It's funny, I guess I get three in every one because then that's when the price starts getting up there. So in this um, order, I got the MAC Cleanse Off Oil. This one I actually placed before. Um, excited about that. Heard good things. And then I got the MAC Prolong Wear Paint Pot and Painterly. Finally, I've replaced mine. Um, 
and I'm looking forward to Chris and Game. Um, she uses this as a here's the inside as I'm sure you've all probably seen it as a like cocktail with her other with um, Urban Decay Primer Potion for her her oily lids, and it's great just to as a color base too. Um, ugh, I love the sound of that. Is, am I the only one there? So I'm excited to try that because I do have really oily lids. And this is from the MAC Chris Chain Collection. I don't know if you can still get this, maybe. And this is the Lipstick and Plum Princess. really liked how the look, lipstick looked. And this packaging is really absolutely gorgeous. I mean, not something I typically go for, but it's still gorgeous. And this is very, like, a dusty purple. Um, so I hope it looks good on me. I haven't tried it yet. Um, but here's hoping. <laughs> And it's right there. Yeah, very dusty and cool. Um, so we'll see. And then I got the MAC Dainty Blush. Uh, I'm mentioning everyone. <laughs> Ayla ASMR. This is her favorite. I really don't like the new MAC packaging, though. I have a other mineralized blush. Um, this is in Dainty. I don't know if I said that. And I like that one a lot more. So that's too bad. Um, has this nice little cover. There's the blush, and it has a lot of um, sparkle in it, but I think it's going to look really pretty with my fair skin. And it's right there. Get my face out of the way so it focuses on my hand. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about that. Getting there. I'm going through these faster than I thought. Oh, this is from beauty.com because it had already sold out on Sephora. Um, I'm really excited that I got this. I'm really, really excited. And that they're having a sale too, so I think I got it for like 20% off. And they sent me a 10% off your 45beauty.com purchase plus free shipping. Um, but it ends May 31st, so who knows if I'll get a chance to use it because it's already the 30th. But anyway, I got the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Blush Palette. And um, I'm really excited about this. And it's cute, like, polka dots inside. And I would heard everyone talking about this, but oh, the pack of news is just absolutely gorgeous. I didn't like it when people were showing it, but it has this very nice um, magnetic closure. I guess I can take this off now. The mirror says magic's in the air. Don't want to blind you. So where can I swatch these? That is the question. Okay, maybe I'll swatch them here. So we have Cherry, Easy, and Angel. And honestly, I don't know if I'm going to be able to use any of these as a highlighter. Um, I, th I think like two of them people were saying they can use as a highlighter. But for me, honestly, I, I don't know. I might have to still use them as a blush topper. And then we have Lo-Fi, Hush, and OC. So there are the six from there to there. Yeah, but they're really pretty, very soft formula. Um, I'm super pumped that I ended up being able to pick it up. So those Urban Decay eyeliners are taking a ton of work to get off, um, as well as the fluid line, so I'm really impressed with those. Okay, uh, we had another store order, because I can't get enough. So the sample, Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Foundation. In three shades um, sample came with this or maybe I ordered it um, also the scents with a kiss came I think they have different like just little samples of perfume I honestly forgot I ordered this like all this stuff um, <laughs> so that's bad I think I ordered this just around Christmas came with um, I got the Erin Rose lip conditioner little sample um, the other samples I got were the Lacoste, Eau de Lacoste Jeune Optimis Optimistic, and the Comptoir Sud Pacifique Vanilla, Vanille Apricot, Vanilla Apricot Eau de Toilette, so I got those. I do want to use up my samples more, and then came with the Caudalie Radiance Serum Complexion Correcting something. <laughs> That's all it says. Um, yeah, so there's that little sample. And then I got the Buxom Lux Lids and Lashes because I love this mascara and it came with this um, eyeshadow. So I'm not going to swatch this. I'm just going to keep it in its little package like that. 
but I am super excited about that. You know, I have tons of mascaras. And then I got this um, Sephora My Lip Stain is Sealed, which is the funniest thing ever. Little makeup bag, and it comes with a red Sephora um, cream lip stain. So I'm excited about that. Um, I just love these. They're the breakup to makeup bags. And they're the cutest little things. I don't even know if they have too many of them left. And I got the Shave Works Get Smooth. Um... Because they have the Luxurious Shave Cream and the Targeted Gel Lotion, but it's supposed to help with razor bumps and stuff like that. Um, especially in, like my bikini area, I can get that a lot. So hopefully this will work. Um, I hope it's safe for that area. I'll have to check. And then I got the Too Faced, Faced Sexy Lids and Lashes, which comes with the Better Than Sex Mascara, just a mini one and a mini shadow insurance. I really don't like the shadow insurance, but I just wanted the mini mascara. Um, yeah. And I actually ended up getting one while in... Paris, but um, that one's just about done. Now we're getting down to the packages. I haven't opened yet because they're on the bottom. So I'm going to take my trusty little eye slice thing. Um, so this is another Sephora purchase because I'm insane. I also have my 10% off for um, extending my VIB or requalifying. So I think I want to get the Shimming Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop when that is um, available again, the liquid, um, or maybe the Urban Decay Electric Palette, I don't know, let me know what you think I should get. So I got a little sample thing of the Professional, mom's running out of this and we're going to go pick it up together. The Also the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream, let me know if you want to see any of these in a video, um, be more than happy to test those out. So I got the Polo Red, Ralph Lauren Intense. Eau de Parfum. Um, what else did I get? Oh, got the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer in the Nourishing, the 4 Nourishing Primer. Super excited about this. I loved the hydrating one, so I hope the Nourishing one I like, you know, the same if not better. I got the Beauty Blender Micro Minis. I've heard mixed reviews, but Emily Noel loves these, and that's why I got them. And just to test for myself what I think. Also super excited about this. This was during the VIB 20% off, I believe. Got the Too Faced Born This Way Undetectable Medium to Full Coverage Foundation in Snow. I believe this is their lightest one, so fingers crossed that that color works for me. And then I got also super excited about this. I'll, I'll probably definitely film a video with both of these um, separately. Is the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in P20. Again, I believe this is their lightest or one of their lightest. And then, oh. I guess another little sample I got was the Tarte Tartist or Tartiste Lash Paint Mascara. So many mascaras. And then I got this little bag for um, a 250 point perk. And I love Mini Mouse. So I had to get this. I have so many little tote bags and stuff like this. But this is just super cute. It's a weird shape though, but. Um, I think it's super, super cute. Disney Mini Beauty by Sephora Collection. Um, and it does, like, open up pretty wide there. But, yeah, I think it's really cute. Here, you can put some of my products in there. Okay. We do have uh, some more. This is from It Cosmetics. Um, I already know what this is. Well, obviously, because I ordered it. Um, it's not like they're sending it to me. But, um, I don't know if my empties are up yet, which I'll actually have them probably soon, because I have some empties here, but, um, I'm just about done with my Holy Grail It Cosmetics CC Coverage Cream. You are beautiful. You are it. I love that. That's cute. A little saying right here. It's in bubble wrap. Okay. Love how this is packaged. Well, it sticker came with this number 50 serum collagen veil. Never really heard anything about this, so excited to try that. And then um, I just got, like I said, the It Cosmetics or Skin But Better CC Plus Color Correcting Full Coverage Cream um, in Fair. Just um, holy grail right here. Needed a new one, can't live without it. And then this is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed. I've heard amazing things. This is just translucent. Um, I've heard amazing things, especially from Kathleen Lights. Um, for she said it's great for dry skin, and people say it like really does kind of 
the pressed versus the loose, which I like pressed powders better. Um, ooh, this is like nice matte black packaging. Is it just like, yeah, I've heard it. So there's a puff. Sorry, I'm like trying to do two things at once. Okay, there's the powder. There it is on my skin. So it isn't actually translucent, but I guess when you blend it out, it is. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, it's not anything amazing like as I swatch it, but, you know, I guess I'll have to put it on my face to truly know. So I'm super excited to try that, because normally I am scared, honestly, of powders because of my dry skin. Okay. Next thing I got from Victoria's Secret. And I'm actually going to keep this receipt in case sizes doesn't work sizing doesn't work for me so the main reason I got this was to get this underwear that matched my bra that I got and this is in large it's just like absolutely over the top and amazing um looks a little high-waisted so I don't like high-waisted underwear especially thongs but we'll see about that and then I guess I just saw these and liked them um I think I like them more like online so they just look like a regular thong but then I don't I don't know if you can tell it has this kind of, these bows. I'm sure I saw the model wearing it and thought it looked cool. So we'll see about that. I don't know how comfortable it will be. And then I got this bra. That was in a large too. I got this in a 34B, which is my size. It's really pretty. I do have a pattern like this. Um, but this is just the um, Body by Victoria lined demi. Um... Which I, I believe I tried this on and liked it, which is why I got it. So there's that. Also, I got some belly rings. I do need to get... Oops. I do need to get my belly button re-pierced. Um, but once I do, um, I can wear these. These are all... These ones I'm going to show you right now are from... Um, what's the store? Hot Topic. <laughs> so there's this one. Like that. There is this one. This one is my probably least favorite. Um, I didn't... I, it looked better online, I think. Hope that's in focus. Okay, sorry guys for the interruption. My memory card ran out of space. So shout out to my dad who got me a 32 gig uh, memory card that can shoot like in 4, 4K, not 4K. I don't, I don't even think my camera can shoot in 4K, but I think that's super cool. And it has a ton of space. Um, so yeah, anyway, as I was saying, um, I was showing you the stuff, I believe this is where it cut off, the bell rings I got from, um, Hot Topic. So here's this really nice rose gold one. Will it focus? I think the little packaging is messing it up, but I hope you can see that. That one's super cute. This one's pretty unique, and it's black. It's a little dream catcher with, like, this green in there. Um, and I believe I got these all on sale, like, so the price you're seeing isn't exactly what it is. These are two ones upside down. Those are super cute, just more little ones. And then, um, I got some from Body Candy, but I'm actually a little disappointed with some of these. These are all 14 gauge, I believe. I'm disappointed with some of these. Um, this is, like, because some of them, like, well, I'll show you. This one's, like, one of those, like, reverse ones, kind of. So that's how it hangs, which is a little snake. But then the bar is like hidden behind there, so that's cool. Um, this next one, this one I, I like a lot. But as you can see, the so it's a little like jaguar or whatever, and it's green. But it's like a little tilted, like the bar. It's a little like off center, I guess is the best word. So that's super annoying. Um, these weren't like crazy expensive, but you know I don't ex like I expect them to not to be straight. This one's fine. This one's pretty dangly little piece right there. I guess these ones came in this kind of packaging. So I don't know if this that depends and then these come in these little ones. These are the ones that are really off center. Like, can you guys tell in this one how off center it is? Can you tell that? It's super off center. It's just like tilted the wrong way. Um, I don't know if I can tilt it. Yeah, I can't tilt it. Which is super disappointing. I mean, we'll see how they look on once I finally get my belly button repierced and it heals and everything. This one, I think it's so cool because the wings, but it 
super off center again. A little bar. Um, it's like they just placed it wrong or like the tilt and everything. So that's kind of annoying. And then I got some from Amazon. So these just came from various vendors, but if I can find them, I'll link them below. So this one's pretty cool. So this one's again a reverse one, I believe. This one's kind of off center too, actually. So there is that one. It's a little heart with some wings. Can you see that? Um, yes, down navel ring barbell. That is what they call it. And we have this one. This one's really pretty. This is made in China, but um, you know, it's the surgical steel. So I like this one. It's rose. They have a lot of different colors of this one. Um, Focus. There we go. That one's cute and came in a little box. And this one I absolutely love. Again, like these are all off Amazon just from different vendors. I absolutely love this one. Dangly one. But it's just super, super pretty and it has kind of this double layer of dangly little bits. Love that one. And then this one I think was supposed to come with three. Um, and I only have one in here. So that's super strange. Don't know what happened about that. Um, so I have to look back on when I bought them. But I do really like this one. It's a butterfly. If you know me, I love butterflies. There's that. But yeah, I don't know what happened with them, this one, so I'm going to have to check on that. And then I believe this is the last one. This one, like, it's not reversible, what's the word? Like, you can flip it around and wear it in multiple ways, I think. I mean, so here it is. And you can just use the... the you know, the bar or whatever, or um, do it all, you can use all of it. Hope you can see that. So that one's really pretty. Yeah, I like that one a lot. Okay, next we have a freaking another Sephora purchase because I'm insane. And this has like a weird little sticker, it says consumer commodity, I don't know what that means. Well, but it always works. So, in this order, I got another one of these like little fragrance things. Don't even know where I'm putting all these. Um, I got this Too Faced Glitter Glue Glitter Shatter Primer. I I really have been wanting to try this. Not that I wear glitter too much, but. You know, maybe that's why, because it doesn't stick, and I've heard amazing things about that. Got the UB Moisturizing Skin Cream, and it's just a tiny little sample. Um, I got the Josie Moran Whipped Argan Oil, Oil Face Butter. Cool. That's not focusing. Maybe because it's shiny, but I, I already said the name. And then, um, mm, okay, yeah, so this was another lip, um, matte, Urban Decay Matte Revolution lipstick that I wanted to get. This is matte 1993, so I think it's just 1993. Um, wow, this is like a super chocolatey brown. Wow, I didn't really realize that. I thought it had more, um, red in it, so... We'll see about that. Oh, and then I'm so excited. This is the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I think this is, was, that's why I placed the purchase, I believe, because this was a, a Conjure Point perk or something like that. Um, I've been wanting to try this for absolutely forever. People rave about it. Oh yeah, but it's not that black. Cassie's right. I saw Cassie Thrift Thick do a YouTube Made Me Buy It on this, and she likes her Physician's Formula one, like better, honestly. 
um, and was like, this is fine, but it's not anything amazing. And I, I mean, just from the swatch itself, I think I agree. But um, if you want me to do a video on that, just let me know. Um, also, I got this was a point perk. This is a Flower Bomb Eau de Parfum. My brother's girlfriend loves this perfume. Um, and then I got the Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Duo. And this comes with Suspiria and Melancholia. The Suspiria color looks absolutely gorgeous and right up my alley. And I love these Kat Von D look good lipsticks. Um, the red one that I have is one of my absolute favorites. Like lipstick, liquid lipsticks in general. Pink one, I don't know what I, how I feel about that, but there are those two. Super, super pretty. Um, and then I got this Airport Pro by Beauty Blender Pouch and Protect because if you saw me use my empties or my favorites, I'm not sure what, um, you saw that I need to get a new Beauty Blender because mine got all moldy, so never making that mistake again because that is, you know, $20 sponge, super expensive, and it was basically super new. Um, that's kind of cute little things. So this is a perfect pouch to take it in. And honestly, it'll like protect it and stuff. And ooh, it's magnetic. Oh, I actually really like that. And that would be space, I feel like, for a couple. Or one, yeah, even two like wet ones, I feel like. Um, so, yeah, I'm not mad about this. I mean, it's stupid that I need something like this. But next time I travel, I won't make that mistake. And I think I wanted to get, um, get it to $50 to get the free shipping. So I... Oh, I have, like, no battery left. So I got this Formula X nail color in State of the Art. It's, like, not mixed up super well, but you get the idea. Oh, okay, I know what this is. This is from Michael Kors. They, like, were having a sale or something. I, they weren't, I don't think. Great Styles is yours. Enjoy. Wow, this is super luxurious. Um... Wow, even a little sticker came with it. Um, I think this was already on sale. And then, like, if you sign up, you get, like, another 10% off or something like that. Um, so, I've been eyeing this for a while. Um, when I was in Hong Kong, a girl had it. And it came super nice and wrapped up. So, I was thinking this would be perfect for classes and stuff when I just want, like, a smaller purse. Um, yeah, like I said, I, I have been eyeing this for a while. Well, I like that it, it really came all, all nice and protected. I mean, if you're paying a lot for it, you know it better. feels like super nice and soft leather. Yeah, it's just like a cute, smaller little bag, maybe even for going out. Um, yeah, I'm super excited about that. That came in with the, um, a little <clears throat> insurance that, or not insurance, but like little things guaranteeing that it is real and authentic and all that. Um, yeah, so I am super excited about that. Okay, yeah, and it, and it does open up. And there's like more pockets there. Yeah, but this is just cute and simple and little, and I'm really excited about that. Um, so guess I'll have to charge my battery and then film my other videos. Maybe it'll give me time to put all this away. So I will be adding just a couple more purchases um, so I don't have to film a completely separate video. Hopefully this isn't a million years long, but I have a feeling it's super long. Um, but I hope you enjoy and I hope you're excited for all the videos I have planned. So um, until next time, I hope you guys are all doing well. Bye everyone.